when Tom Cruise jumps off a cliff on a motorbike, he risked his life. It's like nothing we've ever done. It was it was quite extreme. It, it was a pretty scary experience, you know. So we did a lot of a lot of prep, a lot of prep for this. The biggest challenge of the motorcycle stunt is where to put the camera uh, in order to see that Tom is doing it. He really wants to deliver something real. It matters that much to him. He will push himself literally to the very limit. And in the back of our head, we're not just thinking, Ethan Hunt is jumping off a cliff on a motorbike. We're thinking, Tom Cruise is jumping off a cliff on a motorbike. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Oh, it's great. Normally when you're shooting an action sequence of this kind, you're hiding the fact that it's a stuntman doing the actual stunt. In, in Mission, the reverse is true. You are trying to put the camera in places to show that it's the actor who's actually doing it and to, to remain connected to the character. So that involved developing a lot of technology and perfecting a lot of the camera angles and, 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 and processes that would allow us to see that it was Tom performing the stunt. That involved a lot of rehearsal, which meant recreating the ramp back in the United Kingdom and we filled the quarry with cardboard boxes which were there to catch the motorcycle. And the reason why we did that is so that Tom could simulate the jump. How fast should I go off? What distance do I travel? We built models of different ramps at different angles to calculate what Tom's trajectory would be. Once we were there, by the time we were there, the shooting of it didn't take terribly long. The only complication when we got there was the environment where we, had, where we had been rehearsing was in no way like the environment where we were shooting. So everything that we had prepared in terms of cameras, in terms of camera angles, no longer applied. And so we had to rethink how we were going to shoot it on the day. But because we have such an experienced team, uh, we were able to pivot very quickly and and did it on schedule. Uh, it took eight. I, would, I think what we ended up using in the film was probably the fourth take. We just kept tweaking it and perfecting it. It was re Tom did, did an amazing job right off the bat. It was amazing. It was about getting the camera to a place uh, where it could capture the action. He's so committed to what he does. He's so determined to deliver an authentic and exciting experience from his audience. I think in an age of artificiality, we live in an age where you can do anything with CGI. And CGI is a beautiful tool. It's, it's wonderful that it's come along. I'm not decrying it in any way. But I think when, these days when we see people flying around and monsters and it's great, but it's artificial and we know it's artificial. And so we relax a little bit. But when Tom Cruise jumps off a cliff on a motorbike, that relaxation disappears because he did that. Ah, uh, it's not over. We still have another movie to make. This, this, this is only the beginning of the story.